हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज डॉक्टर कमल गौतम एंड विद गुंजन मैम वी आर फ्रॉम रेजोनेंस डिवीजन एंड टुडे वी आर टॉकिंग इन आर स्पेशल प्रोग्राम रेजोनेंस प्रोग्राम दैट इज रेजोमेट दैट इज रिलेटेड टू अ मोटिवेशनल कम एकेडमिक टॉक विद एक्सपर्ट्स एंड इन टुडेज टॉक वी आर विद एक्सपर्ट मिस अलीट वर्ल्ड टू जीरो डबल टू मिस दीप सुप्रीम शी इज ग्रेजुएट फ्रॉम एन एंड प्रोफेशनली इन मुंबई बींग कस्टम डिजाइन I have four commercial films, and also she is working for social causes, and that is uh, fight against hunger and child rights entrepreneur. So warmly welcome, ma'am. Congratulations for great achievement for this. Thank you, thank you so much. Okay, uh, before we start, before starting our conversation, we would like to uh, know about your journey right from your early school days, ma'am. Please tell me about that. Definitely, it's my pleasure to be here. First of all, thank you for hosting me tonight. I'm so happy that today I got a platform to connect with young minds and inspiring, you know, upcoming generations who can change the destiny of our India and also the world. So I'm very happy that I'm here. And uh, my intention is today that if I can reach to anybody who is like in a way that who would like to be on this path. and would uh, be would need some mentoring then i would love to be there for them and uh, now something about me so i am deep supriyam i am basically from the city of taj mahal agra and uh, coming from a small city with lot of dreams in your heart i think the best uh, way i would say that it's uh, the inspiring thing that in my life was my parents uh, my mother and father they have always motivated me uh to do something you know which was coming from my heart where my heart would reside because my dad being an engineering student he always wanted to be a doctor so whole of his life he was excelling in it he did uh iit he was from iit and uh, he did you know he was always uh, in scholarship and everything but he always wanted to be a doctor in some way so he always felt that you know that he wa- he inspired me to do something which i love so uh when i uh, was appearing for my creative nift at that time it was not that uh, uh, famous in my city so but you know like destiny had it in my part and i have always inclined towards uh, creativity and designing and stuff i appeared for the exam and i am cleared uh, with a very great and i got to I had mission in textile design in Chennai, uh, and from that uh, uh, part, I learned my design basics and everything. And then I ended up in uh, Bombay, and uh, I've been working as a costume designer here. And uh, uh, COVID happened. I was at home, and uh, I got this opportunity. Uh, to represent india and uh, this was a moment of pride and i was so happy that i could do it internationally and um, all my intention was to represent india at the best and i think that a sense that feeling got through internationally and uh, which uh, clicked with their heart and they made me win this so yeah this has been my journey so far and i still look forward to help uh, creative minds and also the people who would want to achieve their dreams uh, no matter what it is from any stream or uh, you know like the platform and want to achieve something bigger than uh, they think they uh, are so yeah that's me <laughs> yes ma'am or basically the motivating part part is in your life was your parents support always you regarding yes. your career whatever you want so 100%. just anyone from your family was uh, from this uh, fashion background or you are the first from your family in this background so basically my mom is a phd and i know so, uh, sociology and also my grand uh, fa- um, my maternal uh, father is a doctor and uh, my uh, father is engineer so nobody in my uh, family was in this field everyone was an engineer and doctor uh, but uh, i am very uh, happy that they never thought that you know this is something i would have to do because they always believe that they did this because they loved it so much like Uh, my mother love uh, 
uh, sociology and she uh, did phd and my maternal grandfather as well he is also poet writer a professor himself so uh, he also is like phd doctorate and a doctor so everyone was like so much uh, into what they love like you know he uh, also they my father was always supporting me with every decision in my life like uh, when i said that i want uh, to go for miss elite as well so he was like uh, what he always asked one thing that why you want to do this and then i have a an answer that i never do something for winning or you know like to be there i always do something because i enjoy the process you know like i have so much to give voice to like if i have a platform which i can use in a way that which helps anyone then that is a great cause that i believe in so i told my dad like representing india would be giving me such an honor and pride so uh, i would love to do it and he was supportive enough when i said that i want to do design and he have seen me like sketching like between mathematics and in my uh, you know like all those in between time i used to scribble in my notebook and sketch and everything so he used to tell me that okay you love this but balance it with studies so i always used to excel in my studies as well but uh, creatively in my heart i always thought that you know like i would do much more better in creativity and uh, uh, my dad was always supported and mom is like visionary she's uh, she was a singer herself so uh, the creative instincts come from my mother as well <laughs> yeah okay ma'am as we know you are, uh, you opted your career through net Yeah. Uh, so, any specific reason behind it? I think NIFT is a great platform because they cultivate uh, the mindset of a person to perceive a world. Because in NIFT, it's not just books or uh, mentors; it is beyond that. They train us to perceive the world uh, in a way that everything is our syllabus that exists, and uh, how a designer can make anything in this world an inspiration and study the forecast that what is going to be in coming times. And uh, the, like right now, sustainability is a major issue. So. people like the designers are coming up with solutions for the futuristic yet less uh, waste and sustainable so everything that design uh, oriented and a high quality a uh, way of implementing and having a solution creatively while at also you know in a way that to save our planet and uh, whatever the intention of the process is so i think nift is a very great pla- place where experts from like the backgrounds from nid and international places where the professors are so inclined to teach you and give that space to evolve uh, so nift is uh, is still my code of ethic like still i design or if i am working on few things of my own creatively i think that has given my code of ethic and uh, sustaining in this industry because of, uh, either it's fashion industry or it's like textile or it's fashion communication or technology everything like nift gives you a edge over everyone yeah definitely or you are the example of nift current <laughs> students also oh, thank <laughs> so, you so much thank you a lot uh, they will learn more things through to you so just if uh, not nift for some students because of some uh, entrance exam nations some uh, problems related to design and other things so what can be other option if not nift I think there are a lot of uh, other institutes like NIT or Pearl and other and INIT I think there are many other institutes who are equally uh, I mean they are good but if not them if they find that that is also out of because this uh, structures it, it is little costly because uh, are we don't you know like just recite to a book we have lot of sourcing we have lot of material procurement we have to make things from them and uh, all of them so if not i think today uh, we are not confined to institutes anymore i think if you go online and if you find a good course there and uh, you will find like there is really good material on linkedin learning or there are places uh, like um, uh udemy and there are uh, you know like lot of platforms which are giving you a very great information and a very less price so a person who is inclined to learning who is person to open to uh, execute some designs i think the right mentor and the right course online would do a great uh, kick start you know like and also connecting over linkedin to anyone like mentors i think people are ready to help you i have like uh, 
when i came to bombay and i uh, knew no one here and i was here to work i connected over linkedin with so many of my mentors who still you know guided me uh, and they helped me and i uh, you i think a person should be open to ask for help that like you should just drop a mail to a person who you like or write something to someone who you think that is there and you know like i think they will revert you just uh, uh, you make an effort to connect with 10 people uh, who you think are in the industry where you want to be and ask questions and how you can improve and how, what are the things you are stuck at and they would definitely reply and you will definitely know your next step like that it means ma'am nift ki if i'll talk about so if a student's grace if you choose student wants to do something in fashion technology or if not nift then lots of options are there mentors are there so they can connect with the mentors so if we'll say yeah. one thing is that ke if yadi kisi cheez ko dil se chaho to sari kainat usse milane mein lag jati hai so <laughs> maybe possible in, in other institutes are if students are going for other institute also that time also they can uh, coordinate with the nift professors and the alumni of nift for their career options at all yes 100% yes yes 100% okay as we know you uh, you are from science background and most of the students with us uh, background uh, uh, this background have limited ideas about their career options what your uh, opinion about it uh so i think that you know a clarity about yourself and why are you doing what you are doing should be clear because there, there is no background which restricts you anything even like i think science background people have a uh, fashion management or fashion technology option in nift which is open which is not open to commerce students so if a person who want to go for bachelor of fashion technology or uh, fashion communication or management they can also go for that uh, side also it depends on their interest that they should know that what they want to do do they want to be on camera and you know like uh, do be in mass communication kind of fashion communication genre or they want to uh, actually create uh, online strategies uh, related to fashion brands or being fashion editorial so the options are like uh, infinite there are so many options to be uh, it just one person should know that what they want to do and uh, i think um, no um, commerce or science or anything can restrict once you really want to dive into and science actually opens more uh, uh, you know like genre that a person could dwell in uh, i mean commerce still cannot take few options in uh, fashion as well but it's open to science students it just depends uh their uh, own knowing that what they actually want to do in their future and uh, right now is a time to think uh from the end because right now the trends have changed the future is very different uh, the things that we used to think that is going to be here because of online and global kind of connectivity it has completely changed the scenario of all the industries after covid i guess so a right research online a uh, focus study and with the focus study uh, understanding of self that what they can do and they will love to do because once you know that what you want to do and love it also you will automatically you know incline to learn more every day so the the more you learn you have edge over everybody and the more you edge you have over everybody you will excel in and once you are an expert i think everyone would uh, connect with you and you will enjoy it and uh, that just makes the whole process great for everyone and in this process we are also working upon that when we are providing mock test to our students who wants to apply for nift uh, our rejo nas uh, pspd para schooling programming division is providing uh, a mock test to the students so they can prepare for that so one question is arise when there are two exams related to gat or cat so yes. gat is related to aptitude and all this thing what about cat if uh, students from hindi medium because we are uh, some students from hindi medium or english medium backgrounds or they are not good in design or sketching uh, so they mm-hmm. think that they can not select in nift so what about this uh, hindi medium students or who, who wants to apply for cat exam Uh, so basically uh, cat and gat is only for the people who are inclined for bachelor of designing in textile fashion and uh, other genres as well the people who are uh, only focusing on fashion technology and fashion management does not na- does not have to go for cat they just have to give general ability test uh, and cat with a situation test is not there 
so in i think language is never a barrier because a uh, exam can be given in hindi and english as well but uh, there is a uh, uh, you know like a genre in which english comprehension is there so uh, they, it has marks so i think uh, like from my own experience i took chennai as my center so in chennai everyone is very uh, either either tamil uh, tamil language or southern uh, estate languages are there and hindi is not a uh, option um, that much people don't comprehend in it so i think uh, english was a uh, only barrier that helped me connect to southern states uh, from uh, chennai pondicherry and all that states so i think uh, it's not that english uh, should english is actually something which is help uh, help going to help people to connect more so a student should be open to learn because the more uh, the uh, you know openness to learn uh, the it will open more scope for them so though you can give exam in hindi but i think take time and slowly slowly learn english so that you can connect better with people like in chennai people don't speak uh, hindi at all so it's good uh, you know some little bit of english so that you know you can understand their culture you can understand their language you can understand people because uh, when you go to a place your design is very much influenced by where you are you know like when you learn culture when you go to historical places you see the elements you understand the design so language is not a barrier but uh, it uh, but it is great uh, you know it's better to just know it you know like that i would say that so uh, english is not a barrier uh, english course. is just language to connect people right yeah Hundred people, yeah. I think it's not like one should not think that they have to excel and there should be an accent or something. Just understanding and connecting. That should be the only motive, I guess. Once you understand, you can communicate. It is going to help you in what you want to do. You know, English is not the end. It is just a tool. That's all. Ah, uh, now, ma'am, most important questions uh, about your Miss Elite competition. how was your feeling how was your journey about it how you know about this competition and all this thing uh so i would say that uh, i am a person who loves to you know go into a zone where i can explore and create who i am because i whenever i feel that you know this is a zone where i might feel afraid or i'm scared of i would definitely go there and you know like i would like to put myself there because uh, the more i do that the more i discover my own self that what i am capable of so when i I was asked uh, by the agency and uh, uh, Greta, I'm a German um, dialect. She uh, recruited me. She found me, and then we had a uh, lot of rounds, interviews, and a lot of uh, uh, rounds before going there. So she asked me a lot of questions, and she selected me. She thought that I would be a great candidate. and uh, so the moment it came to me and it was covid times and covid times uh, i was not in bombay i was uh, at my home in agra so at the time i thought that why not this would be a great time to take time from my work because otherwise i'm so busy with my work but this would be a great time to actually just go internationally and connect with the cultures of the world like meeting people from different part of the world coming there and uh, communicating with them because as a designer i uh, think the best thing uh, to learn is like meeting people of different cultures and so much to learn with them so i think that was a great uh, uh you know like my intention before going there and when i i did not i i love to win it's not like that but uh, before going there uh, my intention was to represent india at the best like uh, even my cost because i'm a costume designer so each uh, garment which i plan to wear from national uh, costume to other uh, rounds it was definitely i tried to put indian motifs like uh, peacock or yeah indian jhumkas uh, in my uh, national costume and everything so i had uh, leverage over the designers to work with them in each design process of my costumes and everything and i went there and i showcased india as much i could and uh, that was a great feeling because uh, i've never felt in a way you know it's it's a responsibility of 1.2 billion people like you are representing them and they will perceive you as uh, you know like a, a representative of india like this is how indians would be like they because i'm 5 10 tall 
so they were also asking oh is our indians also tall so i was like and it's 1.2 billion people we have so much of culture we have so many languages we have so many uh ethnic monuments we have so much of history we are so rich her- in heritage so it is vast country so that was great that i think they loved uh, the heritage and culture of india that thing we can see on your face ma'am this time also. <laughs> same feeling <laughs> so, thank you uh, now uh, one more question ma'am how did you prepare yourself mentally physically as well as socially uh while you're presenting the contest yes yes, yes. oh uh, so i i believe it's not one day preparation i think it's uh, how you toss self for life so i think i'm a person with uh, my parents how they have you know like nurtured me in a way they have given me confidence to always uh, be comfortable on in who i am and every day trying to be, be- you know do better and every day trying to be best who i can be and uh, that's uh, that is what i've learned from my parents and i think that's how i've lived all my life uh, because wherever i go and wherever, wherever i am either it's like a lift seat uh, which i uh, you know like earned or either it's like miss elite world i know that you know there are billions and millions of people who would want to be in the place where i am so i have a this great responsibility to do justice to where i am so that's that's one of my motivation to do the best that i can do every day with every opportunity that comes to me and uh, that's how i definitely you know love to be around with people so i communicate more so that i can understand a lot of situations much better because the more you communicate and connect with people you have more ideas how can you help how can you uh, you know like uh, uh, maybe take feedback about myself that maybe there's something which i can change about myself and uh, knowing more of myself and other people have helped me so much uh, to be the best where i am right now that's why i'm uh, for this resonance is a career so for that we are starting our resonance para schooling division is static resu bucket this in this program yes. we are uh, students we can prepare for various examination not only for iit neat and cuet we are working upon lots of examinations so what do you say about this resu bucket uh, we, resu bucket is uh, uh, neat exam icr exam and uh, all many exam except neat or je बिकॉज इन कोटा टूडे हम लोग देखते हैं यहाँ पर ओनली नीट और जेई के स्टूडेंट्स ही हैं अवेलेबल ऑफकोर्स मैम लॉट्स ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स आर टॉकिंग इफ लाइक टॉक अबाउट दिस सम स्टूडेंट्स और इफ यू विल टॉक टू सम स्टूडेंट्स दे विल टेक वॉट यू वॉन्ट टू बी इन करियर सो दे विल से मैं डॉक्टर बनना चाहता हूँ इंजीनियर बनना चाहता हूँ सी ए बनना चाहता हूँ बट दे डोंट नो अबाउट द वेरियस स्कूप इन द मार्केट Okay, right. so for that we have create initiative for the with the name of Rezo Bucket. In this Rezo Bucket, we are offering lots of courses related to agriculture, fashion, and this. So, what do you think about this courses and other courses which we are offering to these students? I think this is an extraordinary achievement that would be for this uh, institute because. taking this step for the children who have something in heart that they both want to do and they have so much of you know talent and they have so much of skill that they want to do it but they don't know how to do it you know in this time the problem is not that one person is not capable the problem is that they don't know how to do it they don't know the right opportunity and how uh, to connect and this by telling them that this is the way you are nurturing those seeds in their head that okay if i have this skill i can go through this way and it is doable once the person feels you know in their heart okay there is a way they would take the step and that's the most initial and i think that's the best thing any institute can give rather than nurturing you know like something to tell them okay this is only what you can do and this is what you should do because you're told to because then there is no space for creativity there is no space to breathe or you know like evolve as a personality and in this uh, time i think the real personality is when you feel comfortable and confident in your skill and uh, by telling them that uh, the ways to do it and how to improve on their skill is the best way any institute can give wholesome of education so this is a i think mind blowing and very great uh, initiative taken by resonance and i wish that it brings so many students new uh, new edge over other students and 
they would make most of it thank you thank you so much ma'am for that one questions also arise this is the question related to for all the students who are uh, going their career regarding this in the life journey sometimes we do demotivate related to if we fail if we don't think that we cannot focus our uh, goal right it may be happen with you also sometimes for demotivate or related to things or if not for the students what message you want to convey if students mot- demotivate sometimes how uh, they mother in- with demotivate them yes i totally understand uh, this part because uh, i think when i started my career i was always doing something different which i did not have a mentor you know doing the same things which i was doing so i always felt that you know like uh, i didn't feel that motivation from around me and i had to i i felt in those spaces where i was sad also and it was like uh, navigating new grounds for me but what helped me in those time was the uh, the first thing which i mentioned was why am i doing this the moment you are clear about why are you doing this and the reasons that you have given when you started you should not forget them because these reasons are the only thing which you will be reminding yourself when the things are not going to be easy because once you uh, see something from the outside you really like it but once the moment you are inside it there are going to be a lot of um, barriers there are lot lot of things that you know it would not be the way you thought that it would be easier so the moment you are in it but the best thing which helps uh, one person is always talking you know like uh, if you are feeling depressed if you are feeling sad open up you know talk to people uh, who you trust or who you think that have the right mindset who, or who are there who you can talk to talk to them open up Uh, so because once you uh, speak something from your heart it's outside there is possibility that you will get help but once you bottle it inside and you keep everything inside uh, you will always feel that there is lot of weight on your shoulder and the moment that weight is too much you will, you can't move you know like there won't be so your all time would be sulking up so i think the best way to uh, come out of depression or something that you are struggling with anything uh, it so see, the problem is uh, you don't feel that uh, swimming is a problem unless you cannot sink right so a uh, water is not a problem the problem is you don't know how to swim once you know how to swim uh, water is never a problem you won't be afraid of water anymore so the same thing like we uh, we don't know everything nobody can actually know everything but open to learning and also opening up that i don't know this but i am reaching out for help i think that way you can learn how to swim from any uh, water which is hard or any uh, thing which you feel like you cannot make it yeah so ma'am in the series if students will be demotivated for that he will talk to others also he will say out right in the context of nift will talk about if a student wants to prepare for nift and he is demotivated that how will i select if i'll uh, go for nift entrance exam and all this thing so what preparation is required for entrance exam of nift if you can share with us uh, so i would say that to actually get into nift uh you should start uh, from basics like your crea- um, because there are two tests cat and get so in creative ability test they will see uh, your perception how you perceive things how you see the colors how you uh, how you're observant how you uh, uh, observe the details that everything is in the details right so i think there's a book which one should definitely read it is think like da vinci Uh, i have kept it on my table i was i just go through this book again and again this one it is it is by michael j gell it is a great book because it teaches you how to perceive life and also be creatively keeping a notebook always with you every day you should keep a notebook with you and a sketch pen or maybe a pencil and note everything that you are observing the colors the details and um, you know like the textures of skin or grading when you perceive life in detail then you actually collect a lot of information which we ignore most of the time so uh, a notebook uh, all the time with you to uh, write your thoughts and detail them every day and also this will help them with their creative uh, cat exam for sure 
and for general ability test i think they are already prepared which is mostly the same as english comprehension and analytical um, you know, comprehension and general ability test gk current affairs which is a normal for i think every other one so cat is something which can do and if they are going for design there is also third test which is once they clear cat and get there would be a second examination which would uh, be the situation test the situation test is where they would be given some materials and they would have to uh, make a uh, they would get three options that either they can create uh, some appliance or a market or a circus or anything which would be there in the question uh, they can go through the old uh, questionnaires and they can prepare uh, like that so once they clear cat and get they will appear for the situation test they will go- get materials and they have to create a a live model there and they will have to leave it there and it would be examined and after that they will get their rankings for accordingly they can choose what a uh, uh, career they would like to go in either textile design leather design or fashion design technology and all that uh, kind of genre so i think the only thing which a student should do is uh, the more of uh, their there are books to uh, questionnaires of the last years they can solve them and uh, with that also be open to the environment and uh, uh, have a observant observant eye and practice sketching it's not that hard once you start uh, doing it on everyday basis i think in 20 days you will see phenomenal improvements in your sketching of course or for get we are providing mock test to the students uh, they can go through our resumex application uh, they can download from play store and they can uh, download free mock test of our uh, nift get exam so we are helping the students for that also and we also want some more miss elite should be from <laughs> india <laughs> like you so I for that we are for all the beautiful resonance kids that they uh, explore all the new talent and more you know like more of the streams that resonate with their heart <laughs> definitely and if will be if sometime required so we will take help from you 100% you can give my email id and any student who would want uh, you know like a uh, help or they want some they have questions they can reach out to me i would love to answer all of them and would love to mentor them and ma'am one more question how you think about that social causes uh, fight against uh, hunger and child Uh, right child rights and women what, rights also women out what was in your mind regarding this social causes and regarding this please if you want to share something about it i would love to actually uh, i was uh, when i was not miss elite world i uh, was here in bombay and i was already be a part of these two associations one is robin hood army and another is uh, by sadguru soil conservation uh, so when i was uh, here in bombay and every day you are working so much and the, the when you asked that how uh, you had like how did you come out of your depression and all that kind of times when you are demotivated so when in bombay life is so fast and you are always working so when i used to have time on saturdays and sundays i used to go to this robin hood army and they actually have this kind of genre they collect food from leftover food which is not uh, bad it is just the food which was not used on the same day so they collect all the food from good good restaurants and rather than throwing in the garbage we all distribute it to the people who are you know like unprivileged or who do not have uh, that much of privilege to have food and stuff so there are a lot of kids here uh, in my place in varsova in a very west where we go on sunday and meet them on uh, republic day or on independence day we do uh, shows in which we make the kids uh, gandhi ji or uh, some other kind of thing and we play and we color we sketch we learn so it is a great way to connect with uh, kids and see that you know like in even the times when they are underprivileged they have the biggest smile on their face they smile from their heart they are so open to you know play and that inspires me and motivate me and you know feel like uh, ki, uh, how i can be demotivated when i have so much to do like for the people and for my, myself so i think that was also one of the thing which miss elite saw that i was already working uh, with these children and association and they thought that i would be a right person who can uh, consider in a way that they can give me the platform to help more of uh, these kind of uh, situations 
Okay, and you are also entrepreneur, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, so I am working on my FMGC uh, good, which is I'm creating a kombucha and uh, which is a drink, which is a fermented drink. And as my sister is in uh, food supply chain. and uh, she's a b tech uh, in food supply so she's my helping guide in this and i have also you know like love of creating uh, something healthy and also in a way which is uh, fast because whenever we go out we see like a lot of fast food is there and you are uh, and i believe that you know like kids kids should not eat all the preservatives kind of food they should be given something which is good for them in energetically so we are trying to work on uh, some of the products which is uh in a way healthy and not deep fried and baked and also they are fermented and they help uh, children in uh, in like less uh, kind of uh, mrp because we see when we see organic and all those kind of stuff every food is very expensive so it is not uh, you know like for everyone but we want to create something which is for everyone and is price friendly and is also healthy so we are working on it right now working upon food chain and you are maintaining yourself this is also very much <laughs> big question <Yeah. laughs> this is this is one so ma'am you are in lots of ventures you are working with lots of things so anything else if you want to share with us uh, related to what uh, any message for uh, our students who wants to go for nift or other competition exam and they wants to be entrepreneur in life so what message you want to convey and they connect they want to connect also with us with regines with pspd division ha ah, definitely i think uh, your idea for this itself shows that you are creatively getting involved uh, to open up the students in different ventures and catering to them in a way that they can uh, come up in a best way possible and to all those student i would definitely say that that uh, don't go by the form don't think that you cannot do anything if a idea have come to you if a opportunity have come to you uh, don't think that you have to be perfectionist or you have to prepare uh, or you have to be prepared like 100% to be there you know the process itself should be beautiful once you love something don't stress yourself in a way that um, i won't be able to do it just uh, be uh, you know just take one step at a time just do one thing right break things into steps and do that one step regularly consistently you know every day like i wake up early in morning every day like 4:30 or 5 am and i think that is to 2 uh, to 3 hours i give to myself in the morning because whole day is going to be busy with lot of uh, meetings of different different genres and i will have to be you know everywhere so you have to give time to your own self first because in in morning when nobody is up you have to give 3 hours to yourself working on your mindset your creativity your perception and everything which is you so once you have done with the, that then you feel like okay then you are you know a wholesome package to actually work on other things then you have a strategy how you can make your day much more productive and much more guided rather than waking up you know in a way and not knowing and you know like just lot of things come to you and you are just handling stuff right. so it just uh, so it gets very yeah so i think getting up and having a strategy working on it i think every month uh, first 5 days i definitely give in my planning like meticulous planning for my coming 3 uh, months so i think that helps me a lot to stay focused on each uh, you know genres and that helps me to uh, take everything in a way that i am also socially but uh, in personally and spiritually and financially in every way i am giving you know that attention nothing should lag so you know sometimes you are ambitious too much but we forget that we have social or personal life as well like our parents we should connect with them because covid has taught me that no matter what you achieve and what all this there until unless you have strong personal family support it is very hard to get through them and also when i won so my sister was there in egypt in cairo with me so i felt that after winning and everything if she would not have been there who i would have shared my happiness with so family is very important so give time to your family as well connect with them and uh, have great friends the more you have good company with you uh, who are like minded who are great achievers that helps you a lot and if you don't have great friends have great books like your books should be great friends your mentors your guides because i have like hundreds of 
you know like that is my everyday kind of routine in morning read something which because that gives me ideas that gives me uh, you know like inspiration to work on different zone because a book is like so much of experience of for someone's whole life so you just get in 2 3 hours itself or maybe like a month so that is a great way to you know ignite ideas in you and uh, have that leverage and then connect with those people whoever you get inspired from either writer author podcast maker di- designer director cinematographer whoever it is whoever inspires you connect with 10 people and ask questions and ask how can i be there how can i start something and the more you connect with them you will get ideas and don't uh, think that you have to be there in one you know like a day just give time you have given a seed nurture it every day come back to it and you know, take 5 years like give yourself 5 years then you can definitely achieve whatever you want to in a very uh, nice way yeah definitely planning is very much required for everyone if they are yes. preparing they are planning their themselves that is very good and one more thing that book is your one of the friends of everyone hmm. or yeah. that 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 time they say everyone says ke if you are good reader you are good speaker so yes very true we are watching that thing <laughs> thank <laughs> you <laughs> yeah. Uh, Definitely. She is also a good reader. Yeah, that's why. That's why she is saying she the friend of her is books, and yeah. that that's why she is good a speaker. And we I want definitely. lots of things from your side, but due to time uh, restriction. So thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, it was nice session with you. Thank you so much, behalf of Resonance Complete thank you, Team. Thank you. Uh, so it was much. nice session with you, and whenever will be required, we will request to you. come again for the students motivation students uh, interaction with the students so we will Plus call 12 you thank you session whenever will be required yes. for that definitely yes, and say uh, that i would love to come to you know and connect with all the kids and to help them achieve whatever they inspire uh, and aspire in their life and that would that is one of my aim because i value the quality of you know that the skill and it should not be gone wasted because there is one uh, thing which i read and it was like a, a poet who standing by the graveyard and he is thinking that there were so many great artists there were so many great uh, talented writers but they didn't do or they didn't know how to do it and it the all talent went away so that always inspires me uh, to make you know this agenda to help anyone who would want to go in that direction that they want to so definitely connect with me anytime i would love to give my uh, mentorship to anyone who is aspiring to be the niftian or in another way which i can creatively help them to thank you thank you so much ma'am for that thank you ma'am thank you